Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be going over the best day hikes from Lake O'Hara in Yoho National Park. Okay, so the reason that we wanted to make this video today, we actually have another video on just a general kind of weekend in the life at Lake O'Hara, which we'll link below, mm -hmm. but we get so many questions about day hikes from Lake O'Hara. There are so many. Is without a doubt our favorite destination in the Rockies. Yeah. It's located in Yoho National Park, which is about three hours west of Calgary and just about an hour west of Banff. So it's pretty accessible and it's in just a stunning spot. One of the best parts about Lake O'Hara is that you cannot drive right up to the lake shore. This mm -hmm. means that it is never too crowded with tourists. It's so beautiful but you can always find a quiet place to yeah. enjoy the view it's not gonna be like visiting lake louise where they just pile as many people in there as possible <laughs> yeah there's no tour buses there's no crazy groups going up there there yeah. is two ways to get there you can either take the bus which has limited seating you either book a spot by staying at the campground the lodge or they have limited amount of day passes available yeah. you have to book all of that in advance we'll link the website below the next way to get there is to hike up the service road, which is not overly difficult, but it's long and boring. Yeah, and you can't bike. So if you're like, oh, we could just toss the electric bikes in the back of the vehicle and head up there. Sorry. No, <laughs> no. And the service road is 11 kilometers each way with, I think, around 400 meters of elevation gain. So it's doable. We've done it and, and stayed in the um, campground. All right, guys, we can see the campground. Made it. I think we're going for a swim this afternoon. <laughs> I think she's right. If you can get a spot on the bus, that's better. So Lake O'Hara actually has a really awesome uh, campground setup. They've got like a communal um, eating area here, a ton of bear lockers. They usually have uh, food storage lockers as well, but they're closed because of COVID right now. Um, they've got bathrooms and potable water, which is also super nice. For those of you who don't know us, I'm David. I'm Kaylee. And we run a travel and adventure vlog called Made to Explore. We are passionate about activities that get you outside and off the beaten path. We've got a ton of hiking, adventure travel, and van life. So mm -hmm. if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified. We would love to have you around for all of our adventures. Also, if you find this video useful, be sure to like it. Yes, it would really help support the channel. Lake O'Hara makes an incredible home base for you to spend a couple days and branch out and hike all over the area because there's so much to explore. Yes, so in this video, we wanted to go over our seven favorite hikes from Lake O'Hara. And yeah, should we get into it? I can't wait to share them with you guys. Number seven on our list is the Shoreline Trail. So this is a short, easy hike. If you're not a big hiker and you don't want to do anything too difficult or you just spent the day hiking in to Lake O'Hara to stay either at the campground or the lodge, this is perfect. It's 2.8 kilometers, there is little to no elevation gain, and it basically just circles around the lake, but the views are spectacular. Yeah, the Shoreline Trail is the access point for a lot of the other hiking trails in the mm -hmm. area. It's also our favorite place to hang out with a hammock and a drink after you've done hiking in other days. Welcome to Dave's Backcountry Bar. We have two drinks available, and that's it. <laughs> so I hope you like whiskey or rum, because that's all you get. <laughs> Bring your fishing rod, the fishing yeah. is fantastic. Fishing, the dock is really beautiful. Go there for sunrise, sunset. Go for a swim. Yeah, there's so many beautiful views. There's also boats that you could rent there. Yeah, that's true. Lots of good stuff on the Shoreline Trail. Number six on the list is Lake MacArthur Trail. It's one of the more out of the way hikes, I guess. A lot of the hikes around Lake O'Hara can be connected or added together and Lake MacArthur is kind of over on its own but it is definitely worth a visit. This hike is 6.3 kilometers and 310 meters of elevation gain. It's a popular arrival day hike because it isn't too long or too hard so if you do take the bus in in the morning this is a really good hike to do in the afternoon. The bugs every time we've been there are terrible so bring bug spray but it's worth it. The lake is stunning and the mountain backdrop is just wild. Yep. If you are visiting the Canadian Rockies this summer, we have created a 98 page travel guide that details all of our favorite places. We have spent the past 12 years exploring Banff, Jasper, Yoho, Kootenai, and Kananaskis country. And this guide includes 
all of the best lakes, viewpoints, day hikes, backpacking trips, natural hot springs, activities, camping spots, and more. We have just updated it for the 2023 season and we can't wait to share it with you. We will link it below and at the end of this video. Number five on the list is Linda Lake. This trail, don't forget bear spray on. In general, don't forget bear spray. Yeah, you need it. To go to Lake O'Hara. But this trail in particular, we've been up there a few times and there has been bear warnings along this trail. There's meadows. It's pretty much perfect bear habitat. Oh yeah. So don't also don't let that deter you though. This is an incredible <laughs> hike. <laughs> Just start off with the scary bit. <laughs> This hike is nine kilometers round trip and 250 meters of elevation gain. So it's not too hard and it is definitely worth it because the lakes are incredibly blue, clear. Yeah, I think this is the only hike on this list that takes off from the campground. So if you're staying in the campground, it's actually the trailhead is in the back of the mm -hmm. campground. And this is one of our, I think it's the most underrated hike at Lake O'Hara. We go there every time we visit and we always really enjoy spending our time there and it's usually not super crowded which is really nice mm -hmm. number four is Oessa lake trail so this is we're going to talk about a little bit about this later because it does connect with a different hike mm -hmm. that's very popular at lake o'hara but if you just want to go to lake Oessa, if you're not feeling like doing a huge loop this trail is 6.6 .6 kilometers and 240 meters of elevation gain i think one of the best parts about this trail is the lake but then there's also waterfalls all the way along and there's actually multiple lakes that kind of staircase down from Oessa before flowing down into Lake O'Hara. Yeah, it's so beautiful. This has got to be one of the most beautiful like high alpine lakes that we've ever been to. We just made it to Lake Oessa. Wasn't that bad of a hike actually? It wasn't oh. that bad and there is no. nobody here. It's uh, that's pretty well all to ourselves I think. Yeah. Check out this view though. It's a lot of times in the middle of the summer still has ice on part of the lake. Yeah. The water is freezing for sure. You should jump in. It's so nice. And you can add it on to multiple other hikes that we are going to get into right now. Makes a good lunch spot for one of them too. Yes. Next up on the list is Odery Grandview. This is one of the lesser known hikes. And the reason for that is because they only limit so many people up there a day. Because this crosses a major wildlife corridor, they want to cut down on the amount of traffic that's deterring the wildlife in this area. When you go up here, there's a good chance of seeing wildlife, mountain goats, sheep, possibly bears, deer. This is one of the hikes that me and Kaylee didn't do uh, the first couple times we went up to Lake O'Hara, but we're so happy we did because you can actually see all of the lakes from this viewpoint. And that's why it's called Grand View. It is honestly stunning. Wake up early, get to the trailhead. There is a book just before you turn off that you have to sign up on. And how many groups is it? I think it changes throughout the year. So for most of the summer, only four groups are allowed to enter this area. It doesn't matter how big your group is. You just have to stay together the whole time to minimize mm -hmm. wildlife encounters. From August 15th to September 15th, it goes down to two groups a day. Um, I think it's just increased wildlife at that time usually. So yeah. a good tip for this is to do this hike. So this trailhead branches off from the MacArthur Lake trailhead. Mm -hmm. So if you aren't sure if you're going to be one of the first people, which it's kind of tough to right. tell. Yeah. Um, a good thing is to go before you go to MacArthur Lake, go. And then if you can go to Odery Grandview, great. If not, continue on to MacArthur Lake and try again the next day. This hike is 7.6 kilometers round trip and 520 meters of elevation gain. If you're staying in the campground and you're worried about being one of the first groups on this trail, it's never a bad idea to talk to uh, a staff member. Uh, there's usually always staff walking around the campground, talking to people and see if there's any other groups because you are allowed to join up. So if there's a, another group or maybe two other groups of like two people, you guys can all get together, six people and hike it together. Number two is Opub and Prospect. This is the famous view of Lake O'Hara that you've probably seen a ton of times. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely gorgeous. Again, we're going to talk about the big hike that you can combine it as part of, but you can also hike it on its own. If you hike into Lake O'Hara, you're only there for a day, you only have time to do one hike, this is the hike yeah, you want to do. Absolutely. In total, it is 5.9 kilometers with 250 meters of elevation gain. And people do do this in a day. Kaylee did it in a day, hiked yeah. up to Lake O'Hara, hiked up to a pond prospect, and then hiked out. So if you can't get a reservation and you want to crush this out in a day and you also didn't get a bus reservation, you can do it. 
yeah, it's doable. It's honestly, it's a long day. Start as early as you can, but it is so worth it. This viewpoint is very special for us. This is where we got engaged. We have some big news. <laughs> We're engaged. Woo! <laughs> We hiked up to take wedding photos a few years later, mm -hmm. and oh, you just you can't beat it. The view here is so nice. Question is, why isn't it number one? Great question. You want to talk about number one? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the circuit, the grind. Number one on our list is the Alpine Circuit, and the reason for this is because you just get to combine so many of these epic hikes all into one. It's a long day, but it is totally worthwhile. This hike <laughs> is 11.1 kilometers and 887 meters of elevation gain, but the views throughout this hike never disappoint. It starts at Lake O'Hara, you kind of go around the lake and then you just start zigzagging right up. It is a grind off the bat, but as soon as you get up to your first peak, you start to circle around to Oessa and then eventually make it back to a pub and prospect and then down to the campground. And it is honestly stunning. There is views the entire way like i've never been on a hiking trail like this you there's not really any slog through the trees mm -hmm. everything is so beautiful you hit multiple lakes along the way multiple ridge lines and then there's also an optional route called all souls route that you can add on to this we've mm -hmm. never done this it's been closed every time we've been there the one hike that we actually have never done at lake O'Hare, yeah yeah but this kind of continues on so you go up we waxy peaks you hike around to lake oessa and then you hike on the yuck nest ledges over to opaban plateau from there, we have always just gone down to the campground. Mm -hmm. But if you want to do All Souls Route, you continue on. And this trail takes you to Schaefer Lake before returning you to Lake O'Hara, kind of over close to Lake MacArthur. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we haven't been able to do it is because the part of this hike is usually covered with snow up until like August yeah. at least. So if you want to do this route, make sure to go after August 1st at least, maybe even later in August. Things to bring to Lake O'Hara. Bear spray, a hammock, bug spray, sunscreen, hiking poles, all very important, lots of snacks, big camelback for your water. Why are you laughing? Snacks. More snacks. <laughs> we always <laughs> run out of snacks. Your bathing suit. Bathing suit, that's the one I was going to say. Bathing suit and towel. Go for a swim. Have the best time. Yeah. We're going to link our hiking list below if you want to check out all the gear that we use and recommend. Yes. And always remember when you are visiting these beautiful places to leave no trace and leave mm -hmm. them better than you found them so that we can Absolutely. keep enjoying them for years to come. Mm -hmm. We'd also love to know if you've been to Lake O'Hara, which hike was your favorite? So comment below. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you around. Check out our Canadian Rockies guide that will be linked below and we will see you in the next one. See you next week.